Hey guys, it's Renee. So today I wanted to make something for baking, but instead of like baking something, I wanted to share with you how to make this cookie cutter holder. This one is actually really easy and fast. For this, we're gonna be using two frames or just how many frames for the amount of cookie cutters that you wanna hang. I'm using this frames that are from an old project that I do have the DIY for this one if you want to check it out how this one ended. Uh, just a canvas that I just kind of like reused the frame of them. But I'm going to start with this. I'm going to paint it first with some white acrylic paint, like a primer pretty much, because this used to be dark. And then I'm going to be arranging the cookie cutters that I want to hang, like the space that I need for each. And I'm going to mark where I want to hang them using my like Sharpie. And I'm just going to be using some nails and I'm just going to hammer them on like the spots that I marked. Then I'm going to be decorating this because I don't like the nails as they are. I just want them to be smoother on top. I'm going to be using this like stats that I found around the house. I used them in my last project as well. I really like them. I just found them around the house and I'm just trying to find a way to uh, use them pretty much. So I'm just going to be gluing them on top of my like nail using my uh, super glue. Painting this with this teal color that I got at Target. I love it. I'm giving this few coats until it's done. Just ignore the design, like stripe design that I have going on in the frame. I was trying something, didn't like it, and yeah, I decided to paint this. For my other frame, I decided to do something like gradient effect, work with the same one and just mix it with some white, just to make it lighter. It would have been better if I had a third one, so the gradient effect looked better, but you know, I uh, like it still. And then because I don't want to have like holes in the walls, I'm just going to be using this tape and I'm just going to be taping the uh, frames onto the wall. If you're using this kind of tape, it's tricky. The one on top looks a bit wonky, I feel like, because that's the bad thing about this tape is that once you tape it in, it's just taped in. You can just remove it because part of like the paint will come off as opposed to a nail that you can like make a bunch of holes until you're happy with how it looks. It's not a big deal, doesn't look as bad. I just noticed because I know. And to tape the one on the bottom, hang the longest cookie cutter that I'm going to be hanging there. Take that as a reference to where I can tape the one below. But yeah guys, this is pretty much the uh, idea that I want to share with you. I know that I barely bake any cookies anymore on my channel, like shaped decorated cookies. I use the cookie cutters more like for crafts to decorate cupcakes. This inspires me to use them more often and I just like how they look like organized like this. I feel inspired looking at all the uh, cute designs and like shapes they have. They give this vibe of like a local bakery where they have like displayed the cookie cutters. But yeah, hopefully you like this and you find this helpful or just, you know, it gave you some idea on how you can display your own cookie cutters. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out more baking and DIYs that I have on my channel. Subscribe for more and share this. Let me know what you think of this one. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye!